Cyber criminals around the world are scouring the dark web, looking to steal your credit cards and social security numbers. Wait, what? No, whoa, whoa, but whoa, now, hold on. I was gonna do the normal YouTube intro, but the Experian guy ruined that for me. Cyber criminals around the world. Are but we're making a Python keylogger in 19 lines of code. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and I'm gonna show you how to run it in the background so people can't see it unless they go to the task manager. Obviously, don't do dark web stuff with this. Dark web. What? Criminals around the world. It's not a single place, but Python's super cool and I wanted to make this video. So let's jump into the code. Alright, since this is a Python application, go to python.org, download the latest Python. I'm using Windows and I'm going to use Python 3.6.5 for this. So download that, install it, make sure that's good to go. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code for my text editor. You can go to code.visualstudio.com to get that. And then finally, we're going to be using one third party library called Pi Input. I'll put this link in the description. Come over here to the right, clone or download, click download zip. I've already done that, I have it download. I'm gonna minimize this. I have a key log here, and I have the thing that I downloaded, so I'm gonna open that up, and I'm gonna extract, I'm gonna extract what was in the zip to the key log. Great, fantastic. I'm gonna get rid of this now. I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna open with code. That's an option you get after installing Visual Studio Code. Open with code. Um, if you get anything that pops up on the side that says install Python extension, install Python linter, just click install over there. Um, so what I did there was just pull this up, and now you have a terminal. I have to, I have to, go, I have to CD into the Py input. So uh, change directory into the Py input master. So I'm in the key log already, so I gotta go one level deeper. Click enter. And then after that, let's do um, Python setup, not CFG, you want Py. So I just type Python, start typing setup, hit tab, and it completes it. Setup, and it completed it, but I don't want the CFG, I want the Py. Anyways, click that, or press enter, rather. It'll go through some, some motions here. By the way, this little terminal in here is actually Windows PowerShell. And if you want Windows PowerShell, you can either get it from the start or you can hold shift, right click, open PowerShell window here. And you can also open Python here. So if I just type Python, it'll take me to the Python thing where I can start doing math and stuff. Anyways, just a quick note that this is actually that same terminal. So now that's installed and you can see successfully installed here. Installed, blah, 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 installed. Okay, we need to make sure it's installed, so I'm going to type Python to access the Python interpreter. Great, so the little triple, triple chevrons, arrows, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to type import pi input. Okay, I spelled that wrong. Pi input. All right, if you didn't get an error, that means everything is successfully installed, so it should, should just do exactly this. Just be blank. Control Z, hit enter. Now you've escaped that. Come over here, make a new file. It's gonna ask you what it is. Let's make it the log, logger file, or the logger python. So logger.pyw, I'll explain why later. Um, it's the same thing, it'll still work just fine. Okay, so um, we downloaded that third party library because we need a couple things from it. And that's literally how we start. So from pi input keyboard import Key, listener, and then we import logging. So this first one here is from the library that we downloaded from GitHub. And this one here is a uh, vanilla, <laughs> vanilla. This is vanilla Python uh, module. So now we need to make a log file so that we want to save the inputs to a log file. Great. Let's call it the log directory. And let's set it equal to an empty string. So if you set it to an empty string, you're not, you're not giving it, you're not giving it a name, you're not giving it a location. So by default, it will be created right next to this logger, um, basically inside this folder. So we'll have keylog, pi input logger, and then a text file. That's what that means. And then we need to um, format our log, basically. So logging oops not commented the hashtags means it's commented by the way logging dot basic config starts to complete and then we want a file name um, file name equals our log directory and then plus 
keylog.txt. And then, yeah, so this actually needs to be removed. Great. And then level equals logging.debug. Big debug. Okay. And then we have to format the text. Now, this is just uh, vanilla. It's vanilla formatting for Python. So here we go. Like that. And then we want time. S. Like uh, this. And percent. We want messages. S. And then we need to close our initial parenthesis. So let me explain what this does. Logging.basicconfig. So we have to set our file. This is the file that we're gonna log to. This is the name it's going to be logged. So when, when it's created at runtime, it's gonna be called keylog.txt. The debugging level is, or the level is logging.debug. And then we have format where we're formatting the messages. So this is time and ascending. So in the most, the most, uh, the latest stuff will be at the bottom. And then we have messages. That just that's that's the text. Okay. So the other thing. So this is vanilla vanilla Python. This is vanilla Python vanilla Python. All right. We only need really like one thing from the library, which is basically just to monitor keyboard inputs. So define function. We want on press key. Yeah. And then uh, here we want logging dot info. So this is where you would log a message. But instead of logging a message, we want to log the key, whatever you press on the keyboard. I'm gonna add this in here so that we can escape it. So if key, key dot escape, so this keyboard key dot escape here, if you press escape on the keyboard, it will end. So uh, in order to do that, we will have to correct the formatting here and then return false comment that out also great and then we need our listener so with the listener and then we want on press equals to on press so that's when it's listening on press as a listener so this is kind of like the listener is listening to keyboards on press as a listener Right, and so, and then, listener dot join, like so. This needs to be a lowercase. This needs to be lowercase. Say, so there was a little typo here. I fixed it, everything is good. Um, so, now, how do we run this? So we come down here, the terminal, Python, logger, and then if I press enter, it will just keep logging and keep logging and keep logging. So you can see it's running now. If I type hello, and I come up here, it says hello right there. Um, I ran this a couple seconds ago just to make sure it was working. Um, and yep, it's logging hello. So I can type everyone. And then if I come back, everyone, it's logging everything in there. Okay, so this runs with the terminal open, and as soon as I close this out, it will it will not work anymore. So how do you run this behind the scenes? Okay, that's where this little extension over here, PYW, comes into play. So let me close this out, and uh, let me clear my typo so it'll still work. Save, close this out, and then open my key log here. And then if I just click that, oh, you saw that little Loading icon for 0.2 seconds. All right, that means it's running, but you would never know. So uh, I can come up here, type in hello, and then the latest thing should be should be hello. Yep, it's still logging everyone. But how do you end it now? And now you have no code running. So you come down here to your task manager, right click on that bar, go to your task manager, and then Python here. So just sort by the name and then come to Python in the task. So it should log that. Make sure it's not. Yep, nope, not logging anymore. 
So that's it. That's how you do a Python keylogger. Not too bad. All right, I'm gonna jump back to the camera. That's how you make a Python keylogger and a few lines of code. It's not too bad. It's actually pretty easy. I've been learning Python a lot lately. I'm pretty excited about it. I wanna do machine learning, like some game automation. Automation in general, automating. I'm gonna say automating more time. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that little subscribe button. We have a Discord community. We're always hanging out there trying to grow. Link for the Discord is in the description below. Be sure to follow me on social media. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You know, I, I have most of them. Just look me up. It's my name. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.